Now, when athletes line up at the start of the 32nd London Marathon on Sunday, Uganda's Olympic champion Stephen Kipratich will be one of the favorites, but the Ugandan pales in comparison to his East African compatriots when it comes to marathon times, and he says London will offer him a chance to improve on his two-hour, seven-minute personal best. So, Lesson Carney caught up with him at his training base in Kenya's North Rift, where he opened up about life after the Olympics and his new nickname, Kipro Rich. When I came back from Olympics, uh, that's how they called me. They called me Kipro Rich. Now you are rich. But I always laugh at them. Life has not been, uh, it has not changed. I live, I say I live in the normal life I lived before. Take us back to the moment when you won the Olympic gold. As you were in the race, what was going through your mind? And did you actually believe that you could win that medal? My aim was, I was always after becoming top three. That's what I was telling my country, countrymen. You know, running, running is the, it's all about your mind and about your body. So uh, in my preparation, I knew I, I was going to, I knew I am going to run with the strong people. And after aiming top three, no, in the race I had to change my mind. Then I, I, I saw I could make it. We see that many Ugandans come into Kenya to train. Just talk to us about why Eldoret. Yet we know that Uganda and Kenya more or less have the same climatic condition, even the topography could be a bit similar. We don't have uh, good facilities in my country. That's why, that's one of the reasons which pushed me this place. And also, you know, when you train away from home, you can get that, <coughs> that moral, you know? When you are at, away at home, you don't have serious work. You know, when you are at home, you train at home, you do, uh, you, do you like to, to, after training, you walk down, do other programs. But for me, when I came to Kenya, I find that it was a good place. After training, you relax. You don't walk around because if it means walking around, you walk to where? I have nowhere to walk. For an athlete with a personal best of uh, 207 Kipro Teach, are you looking at a situation where as we go into the future you'd want to reduce your time or are you looking at maybe working just towards the World Athletics Championships for 2013? Now uh, my aim this time now is that to, to look on, uh, to improve my personal base. If I can run a 206 then it will be okay. Now is to work on the time. But uh, when it comes to uh, cha make championships, you know what happens? Eh? <laughs> Everyone is going. They say that study is for everybody, but uh, finishing is for one person. So how hard was it for you as an individual to break through into athletics? In running, there are so many challenges which have been coming up and down. But when you when you endure them, you okay. Actually, I endure it, and and I stay focused. Always, I was after focusing something. So uh, when I came to Kenya, I I train, I train. Things were not good, you know. When you change the, I change the environment, so I have to go down. Then I come back. I believe that one time I will, I will run good. Sometimes I may feel like leaving athletics, you know, it is tiring. But something came out and say, something came in and say, oh, no, why? So apart from training and being an athlete, what do you do outside? Uh, uh, the athletics arena. I used to be a footballer when I was in primary school, but I would like to play football. But you know, you know what happened in the in the track in the track. When you go there, you may you may, you may get broken. <laughs> so I like just watching. 